Uh, if you read the financial review to, uh, and on Friday, so every second Friday in the um, inside back cover, there's a column by me. You'll find tomorrow I'm writing about this exact subject. Um, my view is uh, the, uh, the funding for schools, well, the, the current the pro government's, propo government's proposal is a slight improvement in terms of the formula. Um, it could be a great deal better. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware of it, but the, what they do is for the independent schools or non-government non schools, they, they collect the addresses of the parents and then um, determine the socio-economic status of the school based on the addresses of where the parents come from. It's an extremely crude, um, you know, very poor system. And I, it could be vastly improved and all they'd have to do in fact is get the tax file numbers of the parents given to the ATO and the ATO could work out the true SES of, of the schools. Um, in, my, uh, in my ideal world, um, we wouldn't even go that far. What we would do is assign vouchers to, to the kids um, based on the uh, SES of the parents and any special needs, or they're disabled or remote or something like that. And that would then go to the schools, and the schools would be paid on the basis of the vouchers. Um, but, so that's, but that's a fair way from where we are at the moment. Um, will I vote for the government's uh, package? That is an interesting question. Um, on the face of it, in, on pure simple terms, I wouldn't because it involves an additional two point something billion dollars in expenditure. In the six months leading up to this, to the budget, the minister, Simon Birmingham, went around saying money is not the answer. We've had uh, substantially increased funding of education for the last decade and education standards have been falling. It's time to think about what we're getting for our money rather than throw more money at it. And I think that's eminently logical. Now, all of a sudden, he stopped saying that. He's going to throw more money at it. It's obviously for political reasons. So on the simple face of it, uh, um, I won't vote for any extra spending. We've got a budget crisis, I think. Uh, we've got a debt that's $600 billion, heading to $700 billion. We've got a deficit that, uh, you know, we, this year we're going to... Uh, we're going to get rid of it in four years. Last year, we were going to get rid of it in four years. The year before that, we were going to get rid of it in four years. You know, it's just putting stuff on the credit card forever is just not, a, not an option. So um, uh, the only other, the, the other thing I would add to that is that I am asking the education uh, bureaucracy for some additional information on, on um, uh, aspects surrounding the package, and uh, that may determine what my, where my vote lands. But as it stands at the moment, additional funding I don't think can be justified.